We have been absolutely dominating it out there. For those who've been following the channel, you know we have the Midas touch lately. We've been hitting a lot of great stocks. SoFi running up that 20, 25% with the newest one this week. For those who haven't been watching, I, I released it over at the StockMo Patreon and the Stock Squad Patreon. We talked about CVS that has run up nicely in just a few days. We got other stocks out there that are absolutely crushing it as well. And we talked a little bit about Tesla being bought by ARK, Kathy Wood jumping back into the buying frenzy now. And so I want them to look at that stock, look at some of the other ones, see are they still the best stocks to buy now? One of the biggest questions I see on YouTube is, hey Mo, is it still okay to buy them? Are we seeing a reversal of the bread recipe or does the bread recipe tell us that more money probably will be made? And so that's one of the things we're gonna cover in this one, as well as some other things, look at the market, the general, expectations of where we're going to see these stocks go but for those who have not done it family what are you waiting for get over here to the technical analysis you can see this is it the stock mo course join today use code moe all caps moe at checkout and you will save a boatload of money here at least a, a good a, we'll say a, a good sum i don't know if it'll be a, big, a real small boat but you can fill it up with some cash uh, get over there join today though learn the bread recipe the technicals get lifetime access to the course all the materials as well as new materials coming into that course and on top of that the discord that is with this course you get lifetime access to all of it. Now, uh, as we go forward, you can join the StockMo Patreon down below. You can see the stocks. I'm looking at buying something today. I'm not sure, We're, we may be pulling that trigger. And this is going to be another high risk one uh, for the short term. We, we will talk about that down the road as I always bring it to the YouTube family eventually. If you wanna know up to the moment, like I said, you can join the Patreon and everything else if you just wanna wait. I will bring it to the YouTube family down the road here. So uh, what do we got here? Stock Squad 2, you can join the Stock Squad and you got the Stock Mo. So now we move into it and you can look what happened to the market yesterday. We had green across the board. We had the VIX just, you know, it's up a little bit. It was down in the 12s. Now we're in the 13.65. I'm watching this. We want to keep an eye on the overall market. I want to look at the, the technicals on the SPY and the NASDAQ. Remember, I still have TQQQQ uh quad cues four cues i don't even know there's a lot of cues there but i still have this one and i know some people out there are wondering what's going on take a look at this over the last month alone 17.39 we bought when it was down here in this area so the good news is this thing has run up about 62 percent off of those lows in just a few weeks and now the question becomes is it time to take some profit man you, you i think it's up like 34 i think it's up like 40 something percent since i got in which is fantastic. So the question is, do you take some profits? Do you let it roll? Uh, we're going to look at the charts. Let's go ahead and dig in here and see if it is still one of the best stocks to buy now. I made the money I wanted to make off of this. And for the TQQQ, in all seriousness, we had the Bollinger Band getting hit here. And it finally did consolidate a little bit. And we had the RSI I told you we were way, way, way above where we wanted to be in the 75. Now we did come back down in the 60s, which is good news for those who are bullish on this. And I think uh, if we might have one or two more days of consolidation and then another leg up, do not be surprised about that because this RSI right here, usually you get three to four candles out here of moving down and then you get that run up, which would be perfect because I believe the Santa Claus rally will hit and we're gonna see a lot of money being made. And so I, I think we're gonna see that that's the last five trading days of December and the first two trading days of January. And that's one of the things I'm gonna watch for. So I might be buying some stocks and stuff, but TQQQ I have in my portfolio, made me a lot of money. I wanted to show you the SPY as well. Very similar looking charts, of course. Uh, you can see up here, we came across, we're getting that, finally getting a little consolidation. We broke back under in the, in the RSI. Do not be surprised to see a little bit more red here as we go forward. And then finally, when that pressure comes off the RSI, you'll have another leg up. Now that's one such possibility. We could see other things that it just blows right up and keeps going up during the Santa Claus rally. Or is this the end? Is the, is the bull cycle finally done and we're gonna get a big downturn? I don't think so. I don't think so yet. I actually think we're, we got some more money to be made. For those who've been following me on my SoFi, called it perfect. Told you we'd get up to above 880. We did get above 880. Then I said the next point will be 10, but that 10 will be hard to break. This touched it right here. 
pushed it back down. This finally went over, pushed it back down. And now I said, at this point, we need consolidation. And then eventually, I do believe we will be able to break this 10 for SoFi. And the SoFi stock price pr prediction I have is that we'll move above 10. And at that point, we'll reevaluate. Uh, I wanna see it get up there 10, 10, 50 range. I'll probably take a little bit more off the table. I got, I bought, uh, oof, what is it, forty thousand dollars worth of SoFi, and it ran all the way up like this. So I did sell half, moved that in TLT and TMF. I will continue to make moves like that as we go forward because we are seeing a lot of things out there that worry me. Uh, for instance, we can go right here to the greed chart. Check this out. This thing is moving. We got the greed chart all the way up to seventy four right now. This is nerve wracking for me. Because once you get into extreme greed, anybody who follows my channel, you know what I tell you. This is sell, this is extreme sell, this is extreme buy, this is buy, this is neutral. So once we start moving into extreme sell, I do try to lock up some gains. I do start to buy put options as a protection against sudden downturns for anything out there that could happen. This makes me nervous, but if we push that up there in the 80s, in 90s, that's when I really like to buy those put options. Actually, <laughs> starts to look real juicy that we can make a lot of money. Uh, so that's one of the things we watch for. So I did want to show you that because look at the, the put and call options down here. All So many people loading up on call options, but you're starting to see some puts being bought right here. So the smart money is starting to finally buy some of those put options as insurance. So it's one of the things I wanted everybody to watch. Now the other one, what about the Tesla stock price prediction? Oh yeah, uh, you know, Kathy Wood started buying this again. I've been waiting for that. I always tell people when you hear the, the bulls out there uh, talking about things is one thing. Go buy their actions. Are they actually buying the stock or are they just talking about it? So in this case, she finally started buying again and they bought a lot. I, I did a video on that yesterday and you can review that video, but check this out. We broke the Bollinger Band, went up a little bit, consolidating since then, all the way up, back to halfway down, up again. So at this point, you see all the RSI looking beautiful. You see the EMAs looking beautiful. I have to tell you, I actually think this looks gorgeous right now for Tesla. I think Tesla's looking real nice. Uh, I might be buying more Tesla stock just to let you know. This is, this is set up good. This looks set up real nice. EMA is looking good. This is bullish, bullish. Everything's bullish right now. And so I think she's right. I think this is a good time for her to be buying this. It looks fantastic. So that's another one I wanted to, to share with everyone. But I do know, like I said, the TMF family out there worried about TMF. It's doing exactly 100% what I told you it would do. Take a look at TMF, all right? I told you right here, we broke here this candle. We broke the high 75, that's the warning shot. So I said at that candle, it's gonna take three to four days of consolidation before we might see the next leg up. And I said, sometimes, and I see it quite a bit, we'll get that fifth and sixth candle of pushing it down before you get up uh, to the next leg up. And you see that quite a bit. And you can see right here, uh, we, we got up on the RSI here and it took one, two, three, four candles. And then we started moving up to the next ledge. And so it's like little steps you take. Sometimes you have to go backwards before you go forward. So as long as we stay above 60, 63, I'll, I'll be fine. I won't feel real nasty in my stomach if, in, unless we got down to 61 a share. If we got down to 61 a share, this is where I'd start to be a little bit more concerned about what's going on out there. Inflation popping its head up. Are we seeing some hawks talk in the Fed? I don't know. And that so that is one of the things I do watch for. And of course, uh, moving forward, you can see Neo had a decent day. You know, I'll do a Neo video. I know some people are like, hey, let's do a Neo video. It's been a while. Yes, it has been a while. I have all my Neo shares. Uh, they, if anything, I continue to buy more Neo shares. And so we'll find out if it can rally or if it's not going to rally or not. I know they had a big fundraising there. They, they got a, quite a bit of money there, which we'll talk about in the video. So keep an eye on all these things. And for those in the, the TMF family and you see a little bit of red, I hope I explained that. You can see up over the last month, we're still riding nice and high. We're only one good day away from new highs on this. You know, think about that. One 5% day and this thing is way, we're, we're up at new highs again. And so I have no concerns with this. We're looking good. The Fed is talking like a little dove. You know, hey, we're gonna, I'm, I'm reading a lot of different people out there saying, look, we might need to start cutting a lot sooner than expected. And of course, that's a big thing, I, you know? And so 
when you look 12 months out, just understand I'm not in this for a week. Anybody who's been with me know I've been buying this for months, dollar cost averaging, I'm still dollar cost averaging. And eventually once we get that run up to 80 that I wanna see, then I'll start making decisions on what I wanna do. If I wanna hold and I see everything setting up nicely, I will hold. If I see things turning, I see inflation ever getting bad, I would get out then and of course take advantage of anything out there that could lower the price and give me even more shares once that once that concludes because in the long run tmf in my opinion will hit between 100 and 200 dollars a share and so if we can kind of day trade this if you will uh if we saw really nasty inflation data coming in and we would have, have the expectation that the fed's going to have to pivot again back to tightening and then we can go ahead and short these and make money on the way down and then make money on the way back up and so that would be a plan but right now it looks all golden uh, for the bulls here. So things are looking good. Now, the other thing, like I said, if you guys haven't got the, the course, get over to the course tonight, or I should say today, sign up and take advantage of this. And of course, use code MOE, all caps at checkout, and you can join us, lifetime access to all future materials for this course and the Discord, and that's the awesome thing. Get your free stocks from Moomoo and Weeble down below with the links, hit the deposits you have to, but you gotta use my, my link there. And of course, join the Patreon, my Patreon and the Soft Squad Patreon if you want to follow along with what I'm doing. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.